Okay, we're gonna play some walking blues, 12 bars, and this in this instance it's four bars of C, two bars of F, two bars of C, one bar of G, one bar of F, and two bars of C or one bar of C and down to the G. So when we have to uh, when we have to play the especially the first four bars when we just play C or C7, we have different possibilities. Uh, you have the the basic playing the the, the root notes of the the chord, uh, the the notes of the chord, the chord notes of the chord, which is in in C, the root, major third, fifth, and the sixth or the seventh. They are always good. Oh, we can play the root note and the sixth down to the five. But it's always important to like have a, a line that goes up to a certain. Uh, if we are playing in in C for four, four, four bars, we could of course play. And then walk up to the F. So here I'm playing the 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 third. Uh, Bar. The walk could also also be a walk down. And now we come to the walk down. Down to the F. So there's two possibilities. But the thing is, when you have C for four bars, sometimes it's better to make a long uh, uh, ascending or descending line. So instead of saying, so coming back to the root on bar two. We can make a long line because we have like four bars. So we say one, two, three, one. See, I have uh, I, I have made this uh, ascending line going from the root up to the fifth on the first bar. One, two, three, four, and on the fifth of the second bar. We're still in C, but it sounds natural when we just when we have the same chord during several bars. We don't have to return to the root note on every bar, like in this example. One, two, three, four, root. All root. Root up to the next chord. And you it's just important to remember that it should always add up. So every time you come to a new bar, you should land on a chord note. And I uh, sometimes when people play this walking bass line, you they they get out of the 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 system so they land on a non chord note on every downbeat of the bar so if i was to do it let me see I, I can only play it right i cannot play it wrong let's try now again so we have the possibility on the first chord c and take the the uh, ascending one two three four And then we walk down to the F. Oh, we could do another uh, uh, walking line from the C. We have uh, the four bars. We have three bars, and then we have the fourth where we have to go up to the F. This in uh, this uh, example here is like I start on here and use low strings like this. This is just walking. Uh, one, two, three, four. I said the first, up to the fifth, up to the root, up to the fifth, and from here we have to find a way to get down to the F in a minute. Then I can say, use chromatic notes, you can do that too. So that this is basic walking. Of course, when we play this style, as this number uh, got a mind to travel, it's much the... But we just cover the fir first four bars, so uh, it's important if you make you make those long climbing lines, 
You can do that perfectly over the first four bars this because it's only on one chord. And remember, on the last bar before you change the chord, you make some kind of of pick up, uh, go walking up or walking down. You don't have to do it all always, but it, it sounds good. I'll try to play a slow version of a whole chorus, all 12 bars, and walk up to the different places. So we start on the first bar. One, two, three, four. Here I went down. And then we take the walk down. Walk up. The walk down to the G. That's one possibility. You saw uh, uh, the the difficult part is when you come from the G to F. How do you do your walking here? That depends on what your bass line was. Uh, in this instance, I said. Uh, I could say G. That's G, and I'm going to F, and F is just there. And I'm in F, and I, I need to go back to the C. Then I walk down from the F. And we also do it here. And, and it's very important that we say use the flatted seven of the chords because if you use the major seven. That doesn't compete. So we we have to remember that we have the chord notes of each of those seven chords, which is the C, the F, and the G, C. Reduce the mix of the scale, reduce the thing scale. And there, of course, we use a lot of chromatic notes between. usually do I use to combine all those things as you that's why you told me to make this lesson so we have we take a chorus again we can either say uh, I like to here I go up on the pattern and sometimes go down sounds good too and uh, another thing when you play in this position it's very this fingering. I like to take this and then I can use the slides for instance in this pattern. relatively free in this uh, in this blues song but you, you can try out all your different blues pattern also another blues player pattern is just uh, using octaves like <laughs> Like these, and then there's a classic one, of course. And we're gonna walk down to the F. say more and then another possibilities is to do like we did this from 
Topaz also sounds good. just to play a chorus slowly and see what I can come up with. In this instance, of course, you have the, the it's very much. Two bars on F, so it's F. I, I, I usually I like that better. Sometimes it's also fun just to not landing on the root note. As in this instance, we have been playing our C. And sometimes we play the fifth also on the C chord, but sometimes it's it, it sounds good to land on the third of the chord. Uh, it just as a variation, you should do it uh, um, all the time. So, in this instance, I'll try to take the the the, the third of one of the chords. So it, the third of the C is here, and F the third is the open A on G. The th major third is the this one, and we can all, all also find the third in the top here, it's called the tenth, on the F, and the C, so, but now I'm, t I'm talking about the, uh, uh, landing on the, uh, on, on a, on a third once in a while, it is always good something for variation to, to play some double stops like this. <laughs> Something I do sometimes I, I, when we have the four bars of C, I take the this line. Actually, I'm playing play from the root up to the second and the chromatic up to the third, and I uh, harmonize it like this: the C in the root, third, and then the next note. Uh, actually, a D minor. I move that up half note. I'm of half note, so it's to it again and sometimes in solos of course it doesn't stay four bars on C but changes to the F already 
So one, two, three, four. And then the third bar of C, and then we go to the F. Go to the C. In some instances, in some blues, they shift already on the second bar, and in some instances, they st stay four bars or under one chord. I think in in the, the song, uh, at some point, they they make the variation shifting already on the second bar. But but uh, what else could we talk about the the walking, of course? But it's very pretty straight straightforward on the on the the, the thing he's playing here. It's very much. <laughs> this for variation sometimes is I think I heard it with breaker bros and then you hold The, the thing about doing this, I do that a lot. Like a dead note. And, and I actually do it on the, the when I play this to line. So when I'm playing here on the D string, I'm make, making this. But I'm muting it so I'm not hearing the A. Get this dunka 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 and that dunka feeling to it. Got you, got you en enough fun now, Jay. <laughs> and if there's any problems with this, then you just have to tell me if something is unclear. And I just gave you a lot of examples of these uh, blues bass lines. But actually, what you should do is just to try and cop some of the the w the ones from the record, uh, uh, the song here. <laughs> Here I have the, the example from the, the first, where we say... <laughs> but where, where the, the walking line is from the C in top and then takes from the... And sometimes 
sounds good too when you're on the, the third bar. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. We land on the C and take our walking down. Okay, enough for now. 